Hi guys, today is February 16, 2021, and uh, futures are pointing to a higher open once again. There's a lot of optimism out there, as for example, uh, just recently Bank of America Chief Investment Strategist just said to his clients that the only reason to be bearish is there is no reason to be bearish. And that kind of uh, raises eyebrows to uh, more conservative investors and uh, more contrarian investors. Uh, who uh, consider that uh, this optimism uh, maybe is too much. But uh, we'll see the, what happens. Uh, there is a lot of cash out there on the sidelines. Uh, I think like uh, still $4.5 trillion on the sidelines in money market uh, waiting to uh, jump into this market. And uh, uh, another stimulus uh, package is on the way, $1.9 trillion uh, dollar stimulus bill. So um, that's going to fuel... Uh, uh, further investments, uh, pretty much to me. So, um, but uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, on another news, on a separate note, Bitcoin uh, jumped over fifty thousand uh, for a brief moment, and then they retreated back to forty-nine thousand. And that's uh, kind of big news because a lot of. Uh, uh, well-established companies and banks uh, trying to get into the crypto market and uh, that's why it's jumping higher so and uh, also uh, there is a deep freeze in uh, Texas uh, right now I mean the low temperatures and uh, uh, a lot of people are sitting without power and uh, that's uh, actually affecting futures so gas futures and uh, oil futures oil uh, jumped briefly to over 60 uh, 60 dollars uh, per barrel and uh, uh, gas futures were up six uh, percent so um that uh, affects uh, markets but uh, overall uh, so far so good and uh, looks like we're going higher today okay so let's jump to spy etf for s p 500 and uh, spy i mean it's uh, trending higher it looks like to me but um, I mean, I would be very careful because it's uh, in uncharted uh, waters, uncharted territories. There is still a lot of unknowns out there, so uh, so I don't know what what's going to happen. But so far, so good. I mean, it looks like it's trending higher. And uh, what can you say? QQQ, the same thing. It's also trending higher, and uh, it's not overbought or anything. So it looks like we're going higher. So um, you know, let's jump to corporate news. And before we do that, if you want to see my trades on pretty much everyday basis, you can check out the uh, uh, Patreon link in the description of this video. And uh, drop me a like on this video as it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So let's start with uh, Disney. So Disney reported uh, earnings, uh, reported the uh, surprise earnings of uh, 32 cents a share, uh, actually, uh, when analysts expected a loss of 41 cents per share. Uh, due, uh, the uh, earnings were due to success of its streaming services, pretty much. Uh, and now uh, Disney said that they have 94.9 uh, million subs after adding 21 million in the quarter. That's a huge number. I mean, the adding 21 million in the quarter, is, that's that's unimaginable number for me. And uh, uh, shares dropped uh, of uh, Disney on Friday. And uh, actually, it's a great pickup uh, point for me because uh, on this drop, because I think uh, Disney shares are going well over $200. And uh, their streaming services are pretty much uh, Disney becoming a streaming services company. And uh, I mean, if they can uh, add uh, to uh, after opening the, uh, their parks uh, to their revenue, I mean, that would be a bonus. But uh, right now, their streaming services uh, are uh, pretty much acing uh, everything and uh, their leading service. And uh, I, I actually would be buying Disney on this drop. So I think it's a good buy. Okay, BHC, and Bush House. So Bush House, I don't know if uh, someone, uh, some. Some of you remember, but the Bush House is a former Valiant. It was uh, it was a big scandal uh, about uh, Bush House actually about the Valiant, and uh, the company was trading at like two hundred seventy dollars, then dropped to ten dollars, and uh, there was a lot of commotion about this company. And then they changed the name uh, to Bush House, you know, so a better name because uh, the Valiant name was tarnished uh, a while ago, and uh, it was. Uh, 
uh, it had some uh, news recently uh, after uh, billionaire billionaire Carl Icahn uh, taking a stake, 7.8% stake in the company and said he will be looking for a board seat uh, in this company. And uh, actually, this company has a lot of potential, but right now it's uh, in a, uh, sitting in an overbought territory. I would let it come down a little bit uh, before I buy it, but uh, it has a lot of potential. And uh, they've been fighting the, uh, the only, the, the biggest problem was this company it was a huge debt that they had and they've been reducing uh, their debt a uh, load uh, in the past couple of a uh, couple of years after a new CEO came on uh, board and a uh, new team came on board and so uh, they're doing much better but uh, still I would be um, careful buying at this level so I would let it drop uh, under $30 before I uh, try to buy it because it's sitting in an overbought RSI is uh, indicating overbought uh, territory okay Okay, I want to talk about uh, some companies that uh, associated with the crypto and uh, Bitcoin, especially because Bit Bitcoin was uh, uh, crossing 50,000 for the first time and uh, then it retreated, but still uh, a lot of crypto companies are jumping higher and uh, it's an interesting market. So I would start, for example, with Ebon. eBank International is a China company. It's, uh, the company is a chip design company. Uh, designer and uh, leading a manufacturer of bitcoin mining machines uh, so a very interesting company actually it's not overbought or anything so very i think it's a compelling buy to me uh, at this point and uh, i think uh, like right now pre-market is uh, higher it's trading around seven and a half dollars but i think the stock may go uh, actually significantly higher so i would be jumping on this opportunity and uh, another company is sos okay sos limited i mean that that stock already jumped and it's higher pre-market already trading uh, trading around ten dollars but it jumped like uh, from four dollars to ten dollars in a matter of like three days it's also a chinese mining company is so a significant uh, search last week and uh, uh, actually, uh, they reported uh, last Tuesday uh, that uh, 5,000 pieces of crypto rigs, uh, they receiving uh, 5,000 uh, pieces of crypto rigs uh, ahead of schedule. So, interesting company, but I would let it drop uh, drop uh, lower uh, before buying it because the RSI is too high to me. And uh, I think it would be uh, trading higher right now, jumping at uh, almost $10. I would wait for this uh, company to come down a little bit. SOS. C-A-N. That's another uh, uh, company, Canon. Okay, is also jumping pre-market and uh, jumped in the last couple of days. Uh, another China-based uh, mining hardware manufacturer. And uh, also, just like with uh, SOS, uh, I would uh, wait uh, for this to come down before jumping in. Okay, Era. and of course I have to uh, mention Riot Blockchain. And uh, Riot Blockchain is also higher. And uh, it's a Colorado-based company. Uh, and uh, last week it announced that it achieved a hash rate capacity of about 1.06 uh, exa hash per second, which is a pretty good rate. Uh, and uh, uh, it's jumping from pre-market again. It's too, it's just a bit too high for me. I would like it to come down and uh, like uh, to at least under fifty dollars, like forty six, forty seven dollars. I would be interested in this company, but right now it's trading close to five fifty five dollars. Uh, it's a little too hot for me to get in okay okay palantir so palantir reported earnings and uh, shares were dropping pre-market after uh, a surprise loss of eight cents versus two cents earn, uh, earnings expected uh, positive earnings expected and uh, uh, profit. Uh, company said it's loss uh, related to stock-based uh, compensation and employer payroll um, uh, taxes and the revenue was substantially higher and expects growth of 30% of in 2021 actually I would be buying this on this drop and uh, I actually thought the earnings were pretty good and uh, uh, the loss was associated with the taxes and uh, stock based compensation shouldn't stop uh, people from buying the stock so I would be actually buying the stock on this uh, drop and uh, 
actually uh, to me is a compelling buyer because uh, Palantir is uh, to me is firing on all centers, getting new contracts and uh, and uh, a growth of thirty uh, percent. You could do better. You could do worse than Palantir, believe me. Okay, so Palantir is a buy to me. CVS. So CVS reported a pretty decent earnings, reported quarterly earnings of $1.30, uh, six cents above estimates. Revenue also topped forecasts, and uh, it's how it was held by COVID vaccinations uh, and tests at its uh, pharmacies. Um, I mean, shares uh, marginally higher, but uh, actually, uh, to me, the report was pretty decent and uh, was it was solid, and uh, it was. Uh, I mean, the shares jumped. Uh, uh, at the beginning and then now it's retreated a little bit. I think it's a good opportunity to buy CVS. I mean, it's probably the cheapest stock in the S&P 500 and uh, I think it's uh, going much higher. Okay. Facebook. So Facebook uh, actually reported that it's uh, designing a smartwatch that uh, will have uh, messaging uh, features as well as uh, uh, health uh, and uh, fitness information. And sales of the device will be uh, in 2022. So we'll start in 2022. And uh, actually, uh, Facebook is in pretty good uh, shape um, to compete with Apple, uh, in my opinion, because uh, Apple Watch doesn't provide a lot of uh, messaging uh, capabilities. And uh, I actually think uh, that uh, Apple Watch is in the beginning stages. In, in general, smartwatches are in the beginning stages of uh, its uh, technological development. And uh, I think it's a good opportunity for, to, for Facebook to get into this market. So I actually think that at 270, uh, it's an interesting buy to me. Okay, SCKT. Okay, interesting company, Socket Mobile. <laughs> Socket Mobile is trading higher, like almost like 300% was higher pre market uh, after announcing a launch of its uh, Dura SLED barcode scanner for iPhone 12. Well, uh, very significant news for this company, very significant news uh, in general for iPhone 12. Uh, uh, barcode scanner, the first barcode scanner for uh, iPhone 12, and uh, but the shares uh, jumped too much pre-market to me. I would like it to come down uh, before I buy it, so uh, I would let it open, uh, slide, and uh, around five or six dollars. I would be interested to buy this company, but uh, not around ten dollars. I mean, it's too high, too, too high to me. S C K T T. But interesting. Uh, 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 stuff to watch okay and finally speaking of apple uh apple is higher pre-market and uh, it was reported that nissan was in talks with uh, apple about possible uh, autonomous uh, electric vehicle uh, venture and uh, financial times reported the brief talks but the uh, talks uh, bro broke down uh, after that and as you know apple uh, was talking to hyundai and uh, Kia and uh, other uh, auto manufacturers uh, to develop an uh, electric vehicle, but uh, right now there are no suitors for uh, for, na for now for, for Apple uh, electric vehicle venture. But uh, in general, I would be buying Apple not because of their uh, electric vehicle uh, plans, but because of the iPhone. And iPhone sales uh, are terrific are, and going uh, spectacular, uh, in my opinion. And uh, iPhone sells uh, iPhone 12, and um, I think. Uh, Apple is going higher. I mean, looking at the chart, uh, there is a like a bull flag uh, base here, and uh, I think uh, Apple will uh, eventually will take its all-time high of one hundred forty-five dollars. And that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the like button. And I'll see you Thursday.